Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And today I would like to explain to you how to make any SharePoint page the new default homepage. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, the default page uh, is the page that loads by default when you browse to the URL of the SharePoint site. So in this case, I happen to be on the HR team site. So this is the URL when I um, load this page, uh, of course, my um, HR site loads, but by default, uh, the page that is the default page loads automatically. So this is what you, will, you get to see over here. Uh, this happens to be at the moment my home page. Uh, just to show you what it looks like in the background, if I navigate to uh, site contents, site pages, site pages is the library, just like for doc document library, uh, documents is a document library for documents. Site pages is a library for pages. That's where all the site pages are stored. And here is my home page. All right. Here is my, you, you kind of don't see it in the URL uh, when it loads, but this is the um, page. If I click on it, this is the page that loads uh, automatically when I load my site. Right now, you can actually um, you know, see it in the URL just because I uh, clicked on directly on that page. Uh, but again, when I uh, go to the root, uh, you don't even get to see it. It kind of loads by default. Uh, say, for example, you uh, decided to create a new page. And let's go ahead and do it, by the way. So gear icon, add a page. And I'm going uh, to create uh, a new page. All right. And I'm not going to go crazy here with uh, all the formatting, and etc. Of course, you can um, you can tweak the look and feel and the uh, and the format, uh, and um, you know add your web parts and text, whatever you want to do. So here we go. Perfect. Um, let's pretend I customize my page the way I want uh, it to be. Uh, of course, I would hit publish. All right, perfect. Now. Um, just because I published the page does not make it a home page. Uh, if I go back to my, um, if I click on the URL again, right, by default, my old home um, page uh, loads, uh, and that's what you get to see. Um, so, but I do want my new page to load automatically when I go to the URL, right? So here's the trick, uh, gear icon, site contents. Uh, what you need to do, of course, is navigate back to site pages library. And here is my existing home page. Here's the one I created. So I want this one to load automatically when I go to the um, you know, URL of the site. So what you need to do is right click and click make home page. That's all you've got to do. Now, sometimes um, you, you might notice that make home page button is not available. And the reason is because you have to publish the page. You have to publish the page. Remember when I was editing the page? If you don't publish the page, the uh, right the, that means the page is not live. It's not going to be available to uh, to you to make it a home page. So make sure to publish this. Then you again you navigate uh, to site contents, site pages. Here is my new home page. I want well, it's going to be a home page in a second. Uh, right click make home page that's all you've got to do and you do get a uh, you know confirmation pretty much instantly that this page is now the site home page so what that means is that now if you go and browse directly to the url of the site look at this my new uh, home page uh, loads and that's what you get to see all right now of course the old page is still there um the old page is still there uh it didn't go anywhere um, you can still, if you want to revert back, I mean, you can still do so, right? Uh, or you can delete it if you don't want it, uh, but it is still available uh, for you to go back and just in case. All right. So hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, and as always, uh, we'll be happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.